Hey, you're not going to believe this. I don't know if I believe it. I don't know if I'm disappointed or relieved. You know, <laughs> the struggle for survival in retirement as we age is real. And, um, you know, I hear it so much from my viewers, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep my place. Now, some are set, they're doing all right, but others are struggling to keep what they have. I gave up what I had left. Sometimes I think about the homes that I've lived in. And, you know... Mostly it's the memories rather than the fact that I had a house. Everybody wants comfort. Everybody wants uh, security, whatever the heck that is, you know. Is there such a thing? I, I'm not sure. I suppose if you have two million in the bank, I'd say you're pretty darn secure. Well, anyway... So I'm starting to plan for my apartment, and I'm looking at furniture, and I'm looking at rugs, because I love rugs. And even though I know they were going to put new rugs in that apartment, brown, I'm not a tan brown type of person, yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at things and, you know, thinking about it, and I have this sinking feeling when I think about it. It's like... Okay, so if I buy this furniture, now, you know, I was going to let Michael buy me furniture, but it doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right. I am so used to taking care of myself and taking care of Dennis, who's now gone. I don't like the feeling of other people taking care of me. I also don't like the feeling of taking care of others. I don't like it. I'm like, am I going to be a domestic for the rest of my life? What if I don't want that? The only reason I would have even taken the apartment is so that I can help the kids and, and have my own space and be out of their way. It isn't because that's my retirement dream. I don't even like Florida. Well, I like it for a couple months out of the year. But there's other places I've never even tried and I'd like to experience. Not the sandy deserts of Arizona, ye. I don't want sand and dust all around me. I'm a fuss budget. I like green things, green things, green things. I like grass and trees and bushes. Well, let's get back to the subject matter. What happened? Well, I made a phone call this morning and I says to the lady at the apartments for seniors, low income, is there any way we can change the 9 a.m. to 11? Because, you know, I knew Maggie was going to be up half the night on Thursday and to have to wake her up at 8, have her come with me at 9 so she could sniff around and make sure there's no mold. Well, the woman called me back, the apartment manager Hi, Nikki. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I said, about Friday? She says, well, your background check came back. And no, I'm not a criminal. And she said, you have a lot of defaults. You know, let go of accounts. I said, yeah. I, was, I thought she was going to say... It says here that you were, you know, robbed a bank or something, but no, um, it was that I have like seven defaults on my credit. And she said, so they sent the application back to me. She says, I can send it back to them with a reason. I said, yeah, the reason is, is my husband got sick and we had no income and I had to do something and it was a choice I had to make. And unfortunately, it was all under my name. Yeah, because he was too sick to come with me when I bought a car. And he was too sick to come with me when, um, you know, I needed things, you know. So, we canceled Friday. 
I might not be getting the apartment. I don't know. Here's the thing. I felt relieved. You know, I was thinking this morning, I'm looking at furniture, and Kane's furniture approved me for $1,800, zero interest for 60 months, and I'm like, 60 divided by 12 is five years. It felt like a prison sentence. I'm like, five years? Do I want to commit to five years? I was thinking, you know, I'll try it out, get rid of all the stuff that, you know, has been piled up in storage and I'm trying to unload. It'll give me a chance to go through the stuff, put things on Macari, you know, etc., etc. But I always, in my heart, have one foot out the door. I can always leave in three months if I've had enough. I, I don't have to stay there. And then I start to feel overwhelmed. Is this telling me something? If this isn't the life I choose and I want, should I stay in it? Well, I tried to call Curtis again, and it looks like I may have to take a trip down there because I'm not hearing from him now. He has a big old spread, okay? He's got acres and buildings. His house is right there. I don't think he's, like, going to run away with my van, though I did leave in the message. Hey, Curtis, I said, um, I was wondering what's going on with my van and if you might have sold it to a band of gypsies. And then I laughed. I probably shouldn't if he's probably very upset. You know, he's got a lot going on, and I hope he's not sick. So this apartment thing, I don't know. But what is it saying if I feel relief? I don't want to stay here. And I'm not going to look for anything else. You know, there's always, I could buy a little camper and put it in a campground. I could do that. There's one down the street that if I commit to a year, it's only four fifty a month unless it went up. Everything's going up all the time. Um, I, I don't really want to stay the summer in Florida. I was thinking there's a place in Zephyr Hills, but that's two and a half hours away. And, um... You know, the reason for staying in Florida is to help my children, not to help me. Not because I'm so crazy about Florida, I don't want to leave. That That's not it. I don't like the humidity, and I hate the bugs, and it's flat and boring. I do like the beaches, but even that gets old, okay? Even though I haven't even been there in the longest of times, I don't even get to the beach. All it is is work, 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 work. That's all it is. I'm barely getting some time off now because I just couldn't do it anymore. My ankles went out yesterday, the better today, and uh, I just went to bed, you know. I, I mean, I, I got up and, you know, all the plans, and I was going to go pick up this antique desk for my new apartment, which I'm possibly not getting, and then I, it just, everything fell up, and we were going to go to Clearwater, and then we are going to look for more jewelry, and... That's where the desk is in Clearwater. Um, it's just, what does it mean when I'm like, I still have my van. Somewhere, somewhere, where's my van? Why is life so complicated? Why couldn't it be simple? Why couldn't I be rich? Rich. Now my kids are doing good and they're making money, but you know, with that comes a lot of expenses. Wow, you know, this has been let go for so long, let's fix this, and that's been let go for this. Today we had a guy come over to look at the, Sears came over to look at the dishwasher. I knew what he was gonna say. It's too old, there's no parts, $118 please, and that's exactly what happened. about two, 
300 to get a new dishwasher, so they're going to get that. And they need a new couch because this one is literally falling apart. I mean literally. We've got boards. We've got ply board underneath trying to keep it up and still it's not doing well. It's five years old. Time for a new sofa. This was used when they bought it. I don't know how my absence is going to affect them in their business. I'm hoping that they'll see the need and try to hire somebody. Maggie worries because, you know, uh, the house is a mess and there's no room to play or do anything. And, and they're talking about Dennis Jr. moving out so that then they could move, uh, you know, their studio into another room. But, you know, trusting strangers with your child. But like I said to the other day, I says, oh, goody, goody, someday we're going to have a home housekeeper and someone to take care of Finn. And then I can just come over and be grandmother. I can just come to play. I'm sorry, Mom, she always says. I says, please don't be sorry. I get it. But guys... I'm going to be 65 and I've never, ever had the opportunity to do what I wanted to do. My husband, everything was no, no, no. I don't know how this is going to end, but I won't be able to show you a video of the apartment tour because I won't be touring it. I'm totally either way on this, you know, but I do have to think, why am I relieved? Why was I feeling so oppressed? Why was I feeling... I said to Mike, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. What are you overwhelmed about, Mom? I don't know, but I'm overwhelmed. I did know. I knew exactly why I was overwhelmed. Because I was thinking of the stupid apartment and stupid furniture and stupid rugs and stupid commitments that maybe I don't want to make. I never really made a commitment. I was always one foot out the door, even in my marriage to Dennis. I was always one foot out the door. I want that option to leave. I want that option. Now I feel really oppressed because I feel like the options have been taken away from me. I don't know. What if I hate living in a van? I don't know. I just don't want to be dependent on my children. I don't want it. I don't want it. I hate it. Yeah, it made me happy. They want to buy me furniture. That was just such an endearing thing. They want to pay me back for all I've done for them. And I love that. That's so sweet. But not because I want them to or that they have to. Really, I'd rather them just keep their money and let me just go. Spring is coming. I want to be in a van down by the river. I want to be in beautiful, natural places, green places. I don't want to be locked up in a square and then five days working here and two days doing what? Doing what? What am I going to do? Go to the beach. I want to go to the beach in beautiful places. I want to go to all kinds of beaches. I want to go to beaches where there's mountains. And I want to go to beaches where there's beaches. And I want to go to beaches where, I don't know, there's fried clams and a boardwalk. I don't know. What if I don't want to just be here in this town, in this county, in this state?
Well, fate will decide. You know, I don't think God is like a vending machine. We put our prayer in and out pops out the answer. I think God's there. But I'm directing my life. And whatever happens, I'm smart enough, old enough, I hope wise enough to find my way. If she says yes to the apartment, will I accept it? Probably. Will I want to? No, not really. That's not where my heart lies. I just want to pull up to a beautiful place, pull out a little lawn chair and sit for a while and look at clouds and treetops and mountains to look over valleys and rivers and I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but I know I'm not going to stay here. This was temporary in my children's home, and uh, I know I'm a valuable asset because I'm a trusted babysitter, and I take good care of Finn, but I'm wearing down. I'm wearing out. I'm exhausted, and I just find that I just don't want to do this long term. I don't. She says to me at the apartment place, oh, most of our elders watch their grandchildren. I'm like, wow. Is this what we raise our families for and then we want to go and, you know, live a little bit before we die? That's the idea. Go live a little before we die. No, I guess I'm going to live in a little two-by-four box and go most of the week to take care of my grandchildren and then two days a week I'll be like I gotta recover for the next five days I love my family I die for them I've told you that and I feel like I am dying for them dying a little bit every day and I don't like the feeling and Michael understands me because I hear him sometimes he says <coughs> I'd like to take this business on the road. He's just like me and his father. He loved the road, you know. Just got to have money to enjoy it the way he likes to enjoy things. He likes plush. And I like roughing it. I don't mind sleeping in a tent. I don't mind sleeping in a truck. I don't mind pissing in a bucket. I don't mind throwing my waste away in a Wrap it up in a bag, stick it in a second bag, and throw it away. They do it with adult diapers all the time, don't they? They don't take them and say, oh, we've got we to gotta, uh, recycle these. Gross. Well, anyway, if I don't get my apartment, it won't be my fault, will it? Okay, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And, um... Whatever happens, either way, I'm going to roll with the punches like I always have. I've experienced a lot of punches in life, and um, it's okay. Uh, I know how to roll. As a matter of fact, I rolled over at the Y the other day. Oh, my God. You know those dividers that have the post and the round thing, and then they have like this black seat belt that goes to the next post with the round things like a divider I don't know what you call those things well my sneaker got caught on the big wheel on the bottom it's like a big rubberized wheel and I tried so bad to hold on and not go down you know and Maggie grabbed a hold of my shirt and is trying to get me back you know and I'm like <laughs> over I went down to the floor. It was very slow motion and rather gentle as I rolled over. And I'm laying there on the ground laughing because it was so ridiculous. 
And they're like, oh my God, are you all right? Are you hurt? You know, it's a lawsuit. And I said, no, I felt pretty soft. And I said, I'm so sorry to cause such a commotion. And I was sitting there because, you know, I got fibromyalgia and it hurts. And it's very, very hard. You're like sore and stiff. It's very difficult to get back up on. <laughs> but I did. I rolled my big ass over and I got on my fours and raised myself up to the best of my ability. And I'm sure it wasn't a pretty sight. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. So that was my adventure the other day. And uh, now is my new adventure of will she or won't she get the apartment? It depends on the heads of HUD and, and whether they feel, I guess, I'm trustworthy. You know, I've got five years uh, of never being late with rent at my um, mobile home park. They've got that information, but at this point, at this point, I'm almost like, even if they approve me, I don't know if I want to. I mean, I do know if I want to. I don't want to. I'm only doing it for my kids, and is that the right thing to do? Do I do it for my kids, or do I do something for me? What I want I just want to roam. Roam if you want to. I want to wander. I don't know any wandering songs. Probably do, but I can't remember. Well, again, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And I'm done with this right here now. And I'm going to let you go. And, uh, oh, whoa, 22 minutes. Eek. But, um... The saga continues to van life or not to van life. We'll find out, won't we? Yes, in the days and weeks to come. Please call me, Curtis. I'd really like to know how my van is. If I don't hear from him soon, I'm going to take a drive up there and just bring my van home, unless he really did sell it to a band of gypsies. Okay, bye.